Hey guys, this is Transformation Thursday. We're part of a group, as you probably well know by now. And we did not have a video up last week because we were both on vacation. And we survived. Together. Live. Together. And uh, so now we're just going to kind of be talking about the last two weeks of what we felt like God has helped us in the last two, uh, two weeks. Well, definitely God was looking over us when we were driving home because there was almost a major, major accident. Somebody decided at the last minute to leave from the third lane all the way across to get off at that exit for the toll on the Chicago Turnpike. And uh, luckily, Mary was right behind us, but luckily she saw what was going on and was able to get out of the lane into the left lane. Christy missed the front car. I don't think you could have put a postage stamp between our car and their car. And then as I was looking in my mirror, and I know things are closer than they appear, but the car behind no, Mary almost hit us too. And it looked like we couldn't have put a postage between our bumpers. And then so far all the way back, I think there probably would have been at least six or eight cars involved. No doubt. No, no. And we would have been smashed on both sides. Right. Mary, the car. Squished in the middle. The, my Gary's car, actually. But, but uh, And the car that caused all of it just continued on. Either <laughs> coins in the... Coins in the fountain and went on their way, merry way, not, not worried about it at all. But uh, so God was truly looking out for us. And it, just even that we had a safe journey, and that was a long way yes. to go. And uh, we had other little minor mishaps, but nothing that was major. No, nothing. The weather at all. was great, so I think He was just shining down on us, knowing. Yes, He was. And then I got to see um, the sunrise every morning. I'm an early riser if I go to bed at a normal time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, but I still went to. We didn't go to bed till like midnight. So, and I read in bed for a little bit, so. But I, you know, it's just, I wanted to see the glorious sunrise. And then I showed on one of my videos, um, when I was a child, you know, nuns, they always tell you little fables and stuff. I don't know if you consider them fables, but you know, whatever. But uh, if like the sun is like peeking through the cloud and then there's like little rays, uh, I was always told those are the souls going up to heaven. And so the one morning, Friday, Sunday, when we were coming home, it was like that. And there was all these little rays. And so I had made a comment to my um, daughter-in-law that I says, oh, look at all the souls going up to heaven. She didn't know what I was talking about. But no, she's Catholic. Oh, I thought you were talking to Shannon. No, I was talking to Cindy. No. But uh, so she says, what are you talking about? And I told her about the nuns. And she said, oh, she's that's too funny. That. She's not that much younger than me. Yeah, but I don't think that she, she didn't go to Catholic school. Oh, I think it was, I the, think nuns. the nuns. The nuns inflict that on you. But uh, I, I would like to think that that was just watching souls going mm -hmm. up to heaven. Mm -hmm. Not my soul, just yet. <laughs> yet. I want to get there, but no hurry. But so, you know, it's just, you know, everything, you see God all around you. We had, the, with my family, I see God in my family. It's just, you know, he really blessed us with, the, with the family. And even though um, they're far, some of them, you know, they're not my immediate family, but my cousin uh, Lynn in Toronto and my cousin Paul and Duluth. Their There's spouses. just and their spouses and their families. Don't it's just them, their family. I didn't finish my thought. Don't I wish God that. would transform her into a wrecking. Didn't want you to hurt anyone. No, feels. I wouldn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But we had a really good time. It was just you know, you just you see God all around you, and that's just it. So that's how I was transformed. Hmm. And I didn't bring my journaling or my. Uh, Bible or anything with me because number one, there was no room in the inn. If you could have seen what I packed, oh. <laughs> but and I also knew that I and she had her stuff in my truck. Yeah, some of my stuff in her car too. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have that big a car. But anyway, um, I just knew that I wasn't going to have the time for it and to do the true reflection and everything that I was going to do. So, I, you know what? I felt really different not doing that. It did make a difference. Yeah. I can see that that was already a habit that I had formed and that. Uh, and then it gave me peace in the morning, you know what I mean? Um, so I really do know, I noticed the difference that I wasn't doing it. And uh, that's kind of good because then I think, okay, I'm on the right track doing it because I do feel like it makes a difference. And like I said, not every single day can I get that done, but then I'll do, sometimes later in the day, you know, I'll do it. And, you know, sometimes I'll do two in one day because I, I kind of want to keep on track. But um, I was feeling like, a little lost about that but i do feel like god was with us and that you know he, like i like sandy said having our family around us is just pure joy and being able to do that and having the ability to do that not everybody can travel like that i mean it didn't cost a fortune but it still cost money so the fact that we're able to do that and all that and just looking around and waking up in the morning because everybody was sleeping in my cabin. <laughs> Mine too. Um, and I would come out there like about seven. I would wake up before seven, but I was trying to be nice and wait till seven in order to 
it was pretty loud to get out of the cabin, but anyway. And just sitting by the water, hearing the waves, and just the quiet of it was just so nice. And I was like, this is, you know, so peaceful. This, so that was my reflection time. I didn't have a Bible and anything to read, but I still was thinking, you know, different thoughts at that time. And actually praying about all the things going on in the world. I mean, it just saddens me so that everything that happens, that's been happening, and sadly going to continue to happen, and uh, I don't know what we need to do in order to shake things up and get this taken care of. Because then I'm just, I was praying about that. And so reflecting on that, reflecting on what I had good in my life, but also praying for all the people who are suffering and through all these things and, you know, and affecting their lives. Because there's a lot of people who want, my brother included, wanted to travel over to Europe. Um, yeah, Michael's going to go to Paris. They're not going to go. I certainly wouldn't go. There's no way. No. And Roxy from Belgium, um, she, um, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Roxy, but anyway, she she cut her trip short in in Paris, in France because of the priest that was just recently murdered. So it's just, you know, you you have to be able to continue on with your life. But then again, if it's too scary, you know, it's just you, you have to think of your safety first. Yeah. You know, you don't hide in a hole, but think of your. I know, safety but then too. I think if their tourism is going to go down, and then that's going to affect people financial over there. I mean, there's such a snowball effect of one thing that can really build into. And I have to say that when we were at the Mall of America, I was a little bit nervous. I never really gave it much because time. I think that that's a like, big target. Yeah, it's a big target. You don't want to go you know. to big targets, but. Um, yeah. The Judy Garland Museum wouldn't have been a big target. It was fun. But it was fun, but it wouldn't have been a big target. But, no, I, well, the dolls. The, the dolls would have, yeah. There's a lot of people there. But, uh, yeah, so I was, that's really what I thought about. And, you know, I, I knew God was with me, as I always do. And I knew that he'd understand I wasn't going to be able to do that. Because um, I think I would have just made it be fitting in, and I, that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be something you want to do and, and enjoy and, and help you relax, in my opinion. That's for me, personally. So if I was cramming it in, that's kind of why I don't go to Saturday Mass. <laughs> I feel like if I have to go on Saturday, that's I'm really a convenience. just fitting it in, and yeah. it's really not out of the what, where you're supposed to be feeling in your heart. So I know this might not sound right, but if I can't make it to the Sunday Mass, I won't go to the Saturday Mass because I feel like, okay, I'm just fitting that in. But when how I, I've been my whole life. When I worked, I was, if I worked on the Sunday, I went on the Saturday because nope. I didn't have an opportunity I just to go feel on like, Sunday. Okay, no. So I didn't feel like I was fitting it in. When you're working, that's when I was story, working. But I'm just but, saying like other reasons. But to go on a vacation or something, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I still said my nightly prayers. Oh, and, yeah, well, that's always you know. with us, which we're so grateful for that we have that root in us of how we feel and, and knowing that it travels with us. Yes. We don't have to bring things, and I didn't feel like I needed to bring that with me to feel like I was going to be able to reflect. It's just a little different reflection, that's all. So, if you wanted to uh, write any prayer requests down, I do I do write them in my book, and then I do say, you know, do say prayers, but I know Sandy does too. She doesn't write them in. Her. I don't write them in my book. I do a general, but God knows what I'm thinking. I just do my YouTube friends, and then all, and I, and I always just do say, but check with Denise about the particulars. Because <laughs> I do write down the way my If you give works. me a re reason or whatever, She'll I'll, write it I'll down. specifically pray for that. But if you just generally, I'll pray for I'll still pray for you. But anyway. So. I do refer God over to her. Yeah. I'm taking care of that. Yes. That's my part of the... <laughs> yes, I answer the comments. <laughs> yeah. She does I can't the get at them as quickly as she, she does. But anyway. So if you have any comments or questions, I mean, you can put them down there. And... Uh, We'll, we'll uh, be able to reflect a little bit better next Thursday because we'll have, be back in our normal routine, although I am going away this week. <laughs> She's again busy, busy, I'm busy. A, the world traveler in July, it seems. But um, I wish should, I had I won't bring my spiritual stuff with me there, but I, I'll be able, I have been this week, so I'll be able to reflect a little bit better on that for you next week. So please like, like this video, comment, uh -huh. oh, 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 comment, share subscribe. <laughs>